to do that because the, the qualifying race this afternoon ambient might be a lot higher and we might be nearer to where we were Friday afternoon. But gauging these situations is the jobs of the very best drivers and Lawrence Van Tour there's a bit of a clump on the first corner. This is his pole lap riding on board with him through turn one, turn two. You're very keen that turn two and turn three run together as one and look at the balance of the car, Van Tour. I mean, the that, 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 I mean it, it's not difficult to do this, but it's important to make sure that the exit of turn three, there's as much speed on the exit and that really is determined by your exit of turn two. Then the run up behind the pits, that's the pits just to the right of picture that very hard and the brakes down into turn five, six, the curb in the middle there and six is an aggressive curb, you want to stay off that. The rise up the top then down into the compression of turn seven, straighten the car up hard on the brakes and you're almost still on the brakes when you're making your turn nine. I have to say, Lawrence Van Four took a lot of the inside of turn eight and he got away with it. Nothing, nothing has indicated that uh, he maybe gained an advantage, but certainly he had little margin left. Otherwise, that could have been a time that was deleted. Well, it's the mark of a driver on top of the situation coming down towards the end of the lap. It's the first sort of flat section of the circuit for a while. You've had all the gradient from turn six onward. Now down to that final uh, entry to the last chicane, using the curbs quite judiciously there, but getting the car back onto terra firma and accelerating across. It's the 1 minute 28, and that's what you needed to do. Pole position for the race, and here we have. Look, look.